Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We're a nonprofit that gets kids excited about math and science. We've got our Sen Reaper at the BMX track today. Yeah, X-Max is still a success. Razor RC piloting the Reaper now. What was that? Drives okay? Yeah, just leave it. Leave it? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's not a... Um, yeah, it drives fine on the ground. I mean, yeah, that would be like... There's a few other things I'd probably change first. For, like, like the tires, I don't know, the tires seem a little... Slippery? Yeah. They're, I guess they're more like classic monster truck Chevron style. Tires. Yeah. But I'll let you... Uh, Sure. Let's oh, see really? the master do some jumps. Uh, <laughs> what do you think, Razor? It, uh, it's, I've never driven a. Tires are so big, it just drives over the potholes, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Point and shoot. It is very monster. It looks really tall, huh? Yeah. With the body and it looks like Bigfoot or something. Yep. True monster. No low center of gravity here. And it's weird, it's like in the air, it's almost like... It's almost like running at like half speed. It's just like, it takes, it seems like it takes like two seconds to land. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's shitting, right? I guess from a fish. Yeah. <laughs> the same rules as physics apply. Yeah. It just seems to be more hang time though. That was probably just me driving because I didn't adjust the suspension from last time. You saw it. Nice. 
I'm reluctant to try given the mass of it. But <laughs> I was even trying to do that. <laughs> can a max, can an X max backflip? Yeah? I've never seen anything that big backflip before. Oh, actually, I have, but not in real life. Ooh. All right, all right, I'll give the bowl a try. Stay connected. I need a. Still on feet. Oh, still up. I mean, I got on yeah. phone, but not uh, my, like, you know, it's hard to see the display in the sun. So you just see the... There you go. That was an impact. Very monster truck. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Let me sweat a little. A clean one. That one's very clean. Ooh. Not so clean. <laughs> hey! It stayed! It's back! <laughs> You don't have to flip it, then you. <laughs> <laughs> not not to do anymore. Nice. Oh. <laughs> Couldn't catch that. Um. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Actually, the guy that I. We're just doing a post bash report here. Uh, Pop to the front of the body, back out. That was bashed in. The um, the body kind of held up, except over here on these these stress cracks, the body was just tacoed in, as you guys can tell from that running video. So, um, yeah, this this will hold up, but we probably need to do some reinforcements with uh, some shoe goo or. Uh, drywall tape, etc., on the inside of this body. Uh, what ended our run was the where was it? The universal or the CVD joint, the drive shaft popping out. Which one popped out? Oh, yeah, this one, the front right. So I'm not sure how, I, I might do some research to see what caused it to pop out here, but um, pretty easy fix. You know, just, just need to 
um, to to uh, uh, undo either the top or bottom turnbuckle. Probably the top one is easier. Um, let me see here on this side. This thing is just such a behemoth. Yeah, we should be able to just undo this screw um, and uh, pop off the, the, the top turnbuckle and um, then we should be able to just slide the, the CBD back into the diff output shaft there. So the yeah, the Reaper on its second trip to the the BMX uh, park uh, did admirably. We no, nothing major was damaged. Um, we're still uh, having some issues with the EC5 to to uh, to XT90 connections there. So uh, the the wisest thing to do would probably be to put some real X uh, e, e, uh, EC5 connectors. Um, and uh, well, we we already have a Max, a Hobby Wing Max Six ready to go. Uh, we just need to solder on the appropriate um, connectors on the motor there. So, uh, well, motors up here um, because it has uh, six and a half millimeter uh, outputs on that on that motor. So, let us know what you guys think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and we'll catch you next time.